What's up, timekeepers? Me, Time Gamer here, bringing you a little demo of Adam RPG. So if you're Adam, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. All right, guys. So if you listen to my uh, podcast from yesterday that I released, I talked about uh, in the Kickstarter portion of my podcast. I talked about a game called Adam RPG. Now, as I was reading uh, the description of the Kickstarter, I found out that there was a demo of the game. And I downloaded the demo, so I wanted to try it out for you guys. And here it is, Adam RPG. You guys can go check that out. I'll put the link of the Kickstarter in the description below, so you guys can definitely go check that out. Sorry about that. So yeah, this is the demo version. I haven't played any anything of it yet. Uh, the game is pretty nice. When I, when you start off, it plays like this uh, nice little 1980s, uh, uh, I guess Russian music, and it's pretty actually pretty cool sounding. Now you have this ominous. Uh, dark apocalyptic music playing right now so that's pretty cool so we'll discover together it's an isometric game and uh yeah so we'll keep going from there so let's jump jump right in all right so we have to create our guy so we have uh level one health we got ivan can uh, oh i can change his name but i like the russian name ivan so uh okay oh, I, I can also change his okay Okay, so we'll, we'll stay like that. We can change this picture here. Uh, something that looks a little bit more like... Let, let's go with the big beard. Uh, so what we will do... So it's it, it's very... It looks a lot like um, like Fallout. Uh, it's highly... It's uh, If you look on the uh, on the Kickstarter page, it does say that it, ha it's, it, 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 um, it takes a lot off Fallout and other games that resemble it. It is a turn-based combat, so we'll see from there. So... First things first, I have to create my character, so I have strength, uh, maximum carry weight, melee, unharmed, da uh, unarmed damage, as well as uh, sub subterfuge skill, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, so we will we will give a little bit here. Uh, endurance, we will give a little bit here. Intelligence effect, the amount of skill points you get each level, we will get a bit here. Uh, speechcraft, barter skill, we will need that. And luck is always good to have. So we have 20 skill points to spend too. So, martial art is good for punching in combat. First aid, I think we'll take a couple first aid. Uh, sneak, sneak's always interesting to have. Uh, lock picking, yes. Uh, Pickpocking technology, repair. Let's go with that. I feel comfortable with that, so let's move from there. So, the deterioration in relations between Eastern and Western Bloc in the 1979 have led to the full-blown Armageddon between nuclear powers in the year 1986. The war was swift, devastating, and brutal. The fact that humanity per persevered was miraculous. 19 years have passed and it's 2005. Both once great empires and their, ally their allies now lie in ruins, but on top of these ruins, new civilizations are slowly emerging. Um, emerging, the story takes place in a small patch of land in the south part of the USSR. This territory wasn't impacted by nuclear blasts as much as the more industrial parts of the country. It was mostly uh, agriculture and didn't have lots of army base and nuclear shaft, but still this place was scattered, was scared, scar scarred, yeah. Even though it has some sort of centralized government, established trade routes, and even its very own TV channel, the land is plagued with famine, diseases, uh, banditry, radiation, and the rumor has it that so some horribly mutated monsters are also roaming the waste. You are a young member of the secret bunker society, Adam, established back in the USSR. The main mission of your organization is to find, restore, and sec secretly introduce old new technologies to survivors, ultimately restoring the pre-war way of life. Alright, so we the, the story keeps going. Uh... Uh, this this is why Adam sends expeditions to the wasteland, and recently one of the such expedition, led by a prominent Adam member, General Makarozov, stopped contenting the main base. Human resources are tight, so the standard procedure is such situations to send one or three young, younger operatives to conduct investigation. Uh, this time you and chosen you, are, you were chosen to fulfill this task. You know that General Makarozov. And his party went to explore a mysterious pre-war bunker. Bunker 317. What you don't know is that the exact location of this place. Only th that is near a certain village. Called Otra 
Otrandno, sorry, can't say that word. After a few days of wandering, you start to notice the sign in the habit of the inhabitants, a small field of pasture, and finally a makeshift wooden sign with a bullet hole in it, the name Ostranome. Ostranome. On it shows that you are on the right track. It's already night time when you find yourself at the entrance of the small, shady, shabby village. Here you can restock your supplies and earn a couple ru uh, rubles, and most importantly, learn where, find, where to find bunker 317. Holy shit! Uh, on the on the road, you've been ambushed by bandits. They waited till you were asleep, and then, under the barrel of a gun, forced you to give up all your stuff. That's why you face the gate of the village empty-handed. Okie dokie. All right. So this is a point and click, so I'm at the village here, I have nothing on me. Woof woof. Before you stand strong, Bill Man, age runely around 30, he is wearing a weathered military jacket and holds a large gun in his hand. Uh, on closer inspection, he seems like a good guy that would love to chat with a random stranger. stranger. He chews on a blade of grass, looking very bored, but upon seeing you, he, li he livens up. Hello there, comrade. And hello to you too! The man coughs and spits out the blade of grass. After that, removes his hand from his rifle, letting it hang there by the handmade leather belt. Next. Nice to meet you. My name is Jan. May I ask you what brings you to our village? I am looking for someone. Someone who lives here? Not really. Okay then, so how may I help you? Well, I want to ask you a few questions. Fine, I'll try to answer. Uh, was there a troop of military types in your village lately? Did you have a job opening around here? Tell me about your village. Heard any good rumors lately? So we'll, we'll start, we'll go with the main one that we need to go with. Uh, funny you asked, a squad of troops really came to a village not long ago. Can't say if they were military though. Uh, but they had some serious looking dudes. Uh, good weapons on them and the attitude was pretty militant. They were even wearing uniform of, some, of sorts. Some serious guys, I tell you, real serious. They bought some water, rested for a day near the walls, and went on by. I got chatting with the youngest guy there. He said uh, they were on an expedition into the ruins, probably looking for some pre-war tech or what remains of it. God help them, they seem normal enough. Can you point me in that direction of those ruins? Uh, Jan takes your map, and after looking at, at it for a while, draws a small black cross in one spot after looking at your map again he returns it to you here here it is not too far away hmm thanks can I ask you another question fine I'll try to answer um, I better go see you later man uh, wait you can you can get you can you can get back here whenever I can it can be get pretty boring just standing here if I have t the time I'll visit you again bye bye Oh, that's the... I have to I have to keep in mind this is like a point and click. So my graphic might be... Uh, so I have a map here. So this is where I need to go. This is where I am. I got status. Find the whereabouts of General Marker of Expedition. General Marker of Expedition. Find Bunker. Okay. Map. Uh, rest. Can I zoom in? I can't. Alright, we're going to have to try to find some money, I guess. Let's go see if we can go to the bunker. See if we can uh, see we if we can try to make it to the bunker without any equipment. Oh, that's a cool way. Uh, I don't really have to like travel all the way. I can actually just travel fast to one location. But. It, You've been ambushed by a member of some murderous doomsday cult. If you won't do anything, they will surely attack you. Try to escape, talk your way out, attack. What the fuck would you want me to attack with? Guess we're gonna attack. Guess we're gonna attack. Now this is a turn base. Not something I usually like in games. We'll see what this gives out here. If it's gonna give us anything good. Target is too far. One, two, three. How many turns do I have? I can move away a bit. Oh, they got a knife! Oh no! Oh no, double stab! How many moves do I have?
I'm out of moves. Shite. Ugh. I'm gonna die. Move away. Stabby, stabby. Away, move away. I'm gonna die, probably. Move away. Yeah, I was able to escape. Alright, keep going, buddy. At least I can still escape from the battle, so that's pretty cool. Uh, try to attack again. Holy shit, there's three of them now. <laughs> Damn it, I'm dead. Oh, cool, okay. So there's a uh, what I was so I started over. I went to the map and there's actually a campfire option and I guess it stops randomly into certain areas. And there I it starts a campfire but now it also gave me this location. So I wonder okay there's bugs here. Oh there's a dead person. So I'm going to try to see if I can find some equipment here in this mine. I'll try not to like get caught by these fucking bugs. Uh Move. Done. Whatever the fuck that is. Oh, there's a take all button, of course. <coughs> hmm. There's a crate here with stuff. Uh, chance. There's. Let's see if I can attack this this bug here. Let's see if I can kill this uh, bug. Oh, cool! So it's still. Hmm. All right. So. It's not too bad. Almost dead. Almost got it. A small little bug. There you go. Nothing. Okay, so I have another bug, but I, there's a box here with stuff probably inside of it. So, should be able to fight this bug too. So did I miss all of it, or...? I'm not sure. So actually, this th I like this turn base is a bit better than like, let's say with your normal uh, Final Fantasy type uh, turn base. I find this better. Like at least it's not like it's easy. It's, it's easier. It's it's more simplistic. So I like it a lot better. Oops. Oh, well. it doesn't move far further than that. Almost got this some bitch. Almost got this bug boy. One more, one or two more shots and we got him. I'm hoping there's weapons in that box up there. Alright. Investigate the box. Monies. M -m -m Monies. Can't really do shit with just that much, but... Alright, seems like well, that's all there is in here. There's nothing in these barrels. So 
So so far, I'm enjoying the game. That's uh, it's very different of style. Uh, can't wait, can't wait to see what the game looks at like once it's done and running on a better computer, of course, because my computer is a bit uh, poopy. I'm running. I'm I'm running it windowed. Uh, is there any other things I could? Hmm. Let's look around here. They probably. I, w I would think like around the wasteland. There's probably like. Well, there's abandoned car here. There might be. Nope. I thought there was gonna be like. Oh, maybe the trunk. Is there something in the truck? Go, Ivan. Go check. Nope. All right. Let's keep moving on the map. Bunker 317. Nice and slowly. Oh, it's daytime now. Holy shit. That's some bright map. I like it. We made it. Enter the bunker. Please, not too many enemies. I don't have any... Anything to defend myself with. All right. So there's a... Before you stand, a fairly well-preserved autonomous minecart filled with dusty old boxes, a control panel covered with old paint. Install a nose of the cart, and strange it seems that your minecart is almost free to rust. Free of rust and still usable. Inspect the boxes. The wooden boxes are empty, probably looted, but even before the apocalypse, the only content is now a fallen leaf than dust. Inspect the control panel. The control panel was freshly painted once. The years took its toll. Now only patches of old paint cover the device. And then any indication of key functions disappeared after years under open sky. However, you get a feeling that the me mechanism which makes the cart move still may be launched. Inspect mechanism. Under control panel, there is a plate which hides the mechanism in the cart. The screw will rest true. So some force would open pull apart. Uh, try to pull the plate out. Success! You gather your strength and rusty plate gives in. The, red screw, the rusted screw break part at, with your effort and you put the plate away look for a mechanism which looks more like a clockwork than electronic the insides of the cart much more intricate than you thought uh, push a button at random uh, the button can hardly be pressed because all of the exposed cart suffered all over the year uh, inspect the cart before well preserved blah blah control panel uh, inspect the cart. I think I already did that. Control panel. Inspect mechanism before you jump mess of gear. Uh, before you use a jumble mess of gear, drums, spiral, blah blah blah. Repair. Fail. You try and try and mechanism completely. Inspect the cart. Mm, control panel. Inspect the mechanism. Uh, the button can be can can hardly be pressed. Okay, so there's nothing I can really do here. Alright, repair it, inspect the card, go away. So there's nothing much I can do with this card. Hey, this is a Fallout thing, eh? I don't know. I remember seeing that in Fallout before. Well, oh, there's a blast door. What seems to be a blast door. There is a... Oh, corpses. Oh. Locked. God damn it. But, but there is corpses here. Soviet Russia. Uh, what? Um, it's always good stuff to have, right? What? What is this? Go inspect this guy. Ooh, a machete! A machete! Clothes. Backpack. Give me that machete! Ooh, baby. Finally have something to defend myself. Oh, there's a second corpse right here. Alright, so we have some stuff now. So 
So I got a machete. I might as well try to see if I can go to the cart. And see if that's gonna, like, if I can do something with the machete. Uh, mm, no. Okay, so there's nothing really I can do here. There's a big bug here, holy shit. Let's keep going away from the ant mount. Hmm, this seems like a weird little thing. Okay. Oh, there's a. I don't know if I'm going to survive this. Oh boy, that's not doing a lot of damage. Mm. I missed. Oh no. I'm not even close. All right. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for Adam RPG. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. It's a pretty fun little game. It's uh, I still have to I'm not a I don't play these kind of RPGs a lot. So there's a lot to get and wrap my head around. Um, the the song's pretty cool, I like it. It's like it's a classy song. Anyway, yeah, the game still has a uh, still has a way to go from this. Uh I know my, my computer uh my computer can't handle it that well either, so it is a bit tricky to play it. But it's still fun to play the game. The game seems very interesting uh, if we get more into it uh, when, with the final release of the game. And uh, definitely, if you want to try the demo out, it's on their Kickstarter page. If you guys want to support them, I'll leave the Kickstarter link in the description below. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I'll leave a description. Uh, the demo. Give me a minute. <laughs> I'll leave a link to the, to the uh, Kickstarter page in the description below. And hopefully you guys can, uh, if you want to support this and you enjoyed the video, of course, you can go help them out. So of course, also, if you enjoyed the video, like the video, and subscribe to the channel, would really appreciate that. Follow me everywhere, Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com forward slash Me Time Gamer, where I post a new video every day, the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Keep on keeping on.